What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to EU4 as Montferrat. Uh, we're in a big war against Austria, but their armies have been, well, actually not defeated. They've just been doing all kinds of things. They've been sieging stuff up top in the north. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, Rome has fallen to uh, Provence and the Papal States have just peaced out. Um, they have to pay ducats. Okay, that's that's fine by me. They will likely break their alliance with us, which is completely okay. Although, oh, there goes Tyrol. Very nice. The Pope has excommunicated Genoa. That's good. Um, that's actually really good. We're gonna go to Carrington and siege this too. Mm, and yeah, now I hope. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Oh, I don't have a diplomat. Okay. <sighs> I will. There will be a big coalition if I take Florence. I just know it. Actually, hold on. That's actually good for us right now because now Burgundy is gonna have to give these lands to me. Right. I think so, anyways. We'll see. Uh, Vienna has fallen. Very good. I wonder if anyone has a claim here. No, doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, so, Austria. I'll piece you out once I can. The Reformation has branched out. So, we have now reformed nations. Trier is an archbishopric, so I'm not sure if they can actually convert. But it's a good spot for, you know, for a center of reformation there. And if we see, like, England going for the Anglican Church, then, yeah, the Catholics will have really lost a lot of power. Okay, so we're going to be attacked here. Um, maybe even defeated. Actually, we are being defeated. Okay. So, that's fine. Wow. Pa France really does not like me at all. Let's come back from Venice. Because I need to peace out Austria here. They will peace out after this battle here. It was a big loss, but they're still low enthusiasm. And I can get quite a lot. Revoke Imperial Reform? No, no, no. But some trade power wouldn't be bad. Who are you allied to? Um, yeah, maybe Provence. Not a, good, not a good ally. The rest I don't really care that much about. Um, could take some money, but I'd probably rather want this. Get me some trade power. Because you won't steal trade, will you? No. So the trade power is fine, and then I'll take some money. Oh, wow, that's a lot of money. How much am I going to get from that? 50. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's that's nice. I'll take it still. Good. So Austria out of the way. So now it's just Modena and Provence. Provence capital is under siege. Modena's capital under siege. Very good. So we're moving back to Siena. And we'll have some rebels rise up in Pisa very soon. Which is going to be a bit of an issue. We have Flanders here. We'll just link up our troops for now. Gain a core in Corsica. And we can make this into a state immediately. Core it, please. Okay. So. We'll... Yeah, we'll await these rebels. That will have to attack us soon here. They're gonna have to spawn at some point. Alright. So, are you giving it to Milan now? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Why? What's going on with you, Burgundy? This is insane. This is actually freaking insane. What are you doing, man? But I guess it doesn't really matter. I would not have been able to vassalize him anyways. Uh, let's see, though, if we can... If we can grab Florence. So, what's this gonna be? This is gonna be... Florence, Modena, Genoa, Austria. So a lot of people. Hungary. A lot of people will care about this. Hmm. Okay, well, in that case, let's just go full on improving relations and... I mean, we'll see, right? Okay, there are the rebels that I've been waiting for. They're crushed with the help of some of our friends. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just stay here for now. I really would love Florence, actually. Would really love to take it. There's nothing I really want from Provence at this point. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay at war here. Sweating sickness spreads throughout Montferrat. Spent every effort to limit its effects. We have tons of money. So I think that is absolutely something we'll invest in. We can also build some more buildings. Uh, workshop in Piedmont is actually really good. Let's go for that. And, uh, yeah, the rest is not really worthwhile. 
Can go and invest in an idea. Let's absolutely do that. Improved foraging. Land attrition goes down and attrition for enemies goes up. Okay. So next, rebels will arise up here. Let's get our troops over. And I'm not going to accept any peace until... Um, until I have call for peace, basically. Now, whether the body of Christ is really physically present the Eucharist, during the Eucharist or not was one of the main points on which Protestants and Catholics disagreed during the Reformation. Some, however, have trouble even accepting the Lutheran sacramental union. A recent publication that has gained some circulation in our country seems to have been authored by one of these groups. It will undoubtedly be forgotten soon enough, but in the short term, the legitimacy of our state church is being questioned. This smells of crypto-Calvinism. Find and banish the instigators. Um... How much church power do we have? Hmm. You know, I think the 10 admin is fine in this regard. Uh, that's not really a big problem. I'll spend that happily. Okay, how much money are we making right now? We're making se almost as much money from operations as we're making from ta as we're making from taxation. That's insane. Okay, there's colonialism. It has spawned in Portugal. Okay. Now, I hope that we'll get um, the chance to uh, share knowledge from uh, Castile once they have it. That's that's my hope anyway. Okay, no peace will be accepted yet. Uh, we can wait. We can wait. No problem. And is the Pope at war? No, they're still allied to me, actually. Oh, that's so cool. We actually capped the alliance. Even though I was dead set on breaking it. But because they peaced out early, it's actually no problem. Yeah, I'm going to decline all of your offers. Uh, I will go for the next tech, though. It's going to increase our income even more. Oh my god, we're making so much money. So much money. Okay. Mm, could build this for more manpower. Workshop. Sort of useful? I mean, I guess. We have so much money, might as well invest it, actually. So it's all good. With 100%. Rebels Uprising, yeah, we know about that. I'm preparing for that, actually. As we speak. Okay, and... End of Religious Turmoil in Trier. So they have actually converted. An Archbishopric that has converted. That is pretty interesting. And look how much Protestantism has spread to Italy. It's insane. It's insane, truly. Only Roma is not being converted. Okay, so now we've got the call for peace. Um, hmm. Now, what's our war exhaustion at? It's not high. I think we can tick, let this tick up a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll let this tick up. It's it's no it's not a big deal. Okay, so Protestant Reformed churches reject incense. So, Tria gets favor, but the price goes down that's fine i don't think we trade with that anyways delayed salaries mm, lose professionalism devastation in tuscany no 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 fine let's uh lose some manpower for that it's it's okay uh one thing i would like to do is call a diet here just so that our manpower is going to recover quicker so i can let the work exhaustion tick up a little bit more but then i'll have to peace out at some point here Lost a claim on Luca. That's okay. We got a tolerant society in the Papal States. I mean, that would be so cool to see Papal States converted. That would be actually quite fun. Now, Provence. Provence is Catholic. I might be able to forcefully convert you, actually. If I only had a diplomat, I could see. But yeah, we'll improve more relations here. And then... Tunis has raided our coasts. Let's see what we can go for here. Uh, idea cost, unrest. I think I'll take the morale. Thank you. So that's really helping our uh, troops. We've got Protestant zealots have risen up. It's not ideal. But I... Bet you the moment I move, the moment I move here, I'm gonna get, uh, 
I'm, I'm going to get these rebels to spawn. So I kind of want to deal with them first. Okay, uh, let's refuse this offer to gain some more prestige. And I have fulfilled new mission to build buildings. You gain admin points and extra tax income. Very nice. Alright. Genoa is claiming my lands. That's pretty ballsy, to be honest. Okay, these Protestants have been destroyed quite quickly. Alright, so let's check this out. What's our war exhaustion at? Uh, it's not that high. It's still fine. We can keep on going. Come on, spawn already. What's going on, man? Truce with Venice has... Okay, let's uh, let's come back here. And let's see if we can go for peace here. Without too many people joining in. Um, so. Uh, force religion. I can't take Florence anymore. Okay, so. Take Florence. <sighs> Florence... Modena, Genoa, can't join. Austria won't be able to join. Provence won't be able to join. Hungary, France. Ah. Do I want to have a coalition with France and Hungary against me? Is there a way to improve relations with France? Or have I already done that? I can go for royal marriage. Which might help with this. Um, hold on. So if I do this... I think I might... If, I, if I'm if i able to keep France out of it... Hold on, I've got tons of money. Let me see if I can send some gifts, maybe. Hungary, for example. Might be enough if I send some gifts. Two hundred gold. To Hungary. This is risky, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the royal marriage with France. Um, get church power. Like to all Catholic countries decreased. No, no, no. I'll take this. I don't want to decrease relations right now. Uh, once you're back, France has accepted. Uh, let me see if they would now uh, show up here. No France. No. Oh, Hungary is still here. Okay. Now, okay. Luca, Genoa, Modena, Florence. Okay, they don't matter. Austria is a problem. Aragon is a problem. Let's send some money to Aragon. Actually. Hmm. Okay, Bavaria, maybe? I haven't been proved relations with them yet. Um, I want to get the big guys out of it, basically. Austria actually seems to like me a bit, a bit. What if I send them a gift? That's not too expensive. I think that's worth it, actually, if I do this. Send 200 gold to Austria. To keep them out. I hope that I hope that works. If not, this is completely wasted, obviously. Austria would still be in there, it says. Aragon, Switzerland. How many truces do I have with these people? Switzerland, Florence, Austria, Genoa. So Austria couldn't even join, actually. I was stupid. I just wasted 200 gold. Alright, you know what? I'll take it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm gonna risk it. And I hope that it pays off. They may have... Maybe this is completely wrong. I don't know. But I'm risking it. And so we'll see. So I'll take this. And then Provence. I will have you revoke... Your cause. And... I'll force religion. Take the operations. Take the money. And that's it. So now we'll see if that pays off. We immediately need to go back to improve relations with everyone. Um, probably Bavaria. I don't know. It depends. 
Just everyone, I guess. And see how it goes. I hope there will be no coalition. Um, I mean, we shouldn't forget we've got Burgundy Castile as friends and some others as well. So maybe we're fine. Nope. Venice and Aragon have joined. The Papal State will break the alliance. Okay. But just those two nations is not enough. Just Aragon and Venice is not enough. Because I think... Uh, yeah, no. We don't have truce with them, obviously. Okay. Mm, I won't get the alliance with... But yeah, France is not joining, so that's really basically the... Hungary joined in. Fuck, I gave you 20 gold, dude. That annoys me. That's actually super annoying there. That shouldn't have happened. Okay, we've got Hungary, Venice, and Aragon. So this is getting a bit much. There's more people joining in. Oh, right, this is bad. This is bad. Have a huge coalition at hands. Bavaria entered. Okay, so this is terrible. This sucks big time. Um, shit. Shit. I'm not quite sure what to do. I might also need to improve relations. I hope they won't declare the war. What's the coalition look like? But Hungary is not that powerful. Venice we've kicked ass. Aragon might be strong. I don't think they will... I don't think they will dare to declare the war, honestly. It depends on what my allies do. Especially if I lose the Papal States. Let me see who I can get as an ally. Ferrara, Baden, and Oldenburg. None of them are amazing. Um, but yeah, okay. I don't think I can get France in there temporarily. Nope. Okay, I may have been a bit too greedy, but I really wanted Florence there. Really wanted Florence. Okay, more people are joining in. That's bad. And we lost an alliance. Yeah, well, this is problematic. No doubt. But we can invest in a new military tech. I'm almost thinking this is worth it, actually. Almost thinking that's worth it. Does that- is that being counted as military strength? It will give us new cavalry. I'm gonna hold off on this for now, but... Yeah. What if I become Defender of the Faith? Monthly War Exhaustion Prestige. Prestige is super low. Improved relations reduced significantly, and aggressive expansion impact is increased. So yeah, our low, if we had higher prestige, we probably would have been able to do this much better. Um, but I think, you know what, at the end of the day, we, we might be fine. We might be fine here. Let's see what, uh, what you say. I mean, we can improve relations with Hungary, actually, to get them out. Let me come back from Milan. Let's just work on Hungary. If we can get them out before the war is being declared, I'm feeling pretty good about this, actually. And then the money wasn't wasted, either. Let's just make sure nobody declares war. Now, lose church power, but Mo Pomerania is happy. Fearing for his safety, one of the great theologians of our age has had to leave his homeland. As a Protestant country, it is our duty to offer a safe haven for this man, and doing so would undoubtedly strengthen the position of our state church, at least as long as this reformer agrees with our policies. For as long as the reformer lives within our borders, he may choose to criticize or condone the policies of our state church. Okay, we gain extra prestige and church power. Alright, I'll go for it. I don't care about Pomerania. They're not going to join against us in a coalition, so it's all good. Right, one of our generals died, but not Giuseppe de Busca. So I don't really care all that much. And we can go for a new aspect of faith. So what do we have? Prestige, probably what I want to go for. Manpower recovery is not bad either. Probably going to go with this for now. We can always change it, but for now we need the manpower recovery. Because I don't want anyone to surprise us here in a war. Um, yeah. We have a lot of money. We have a lot of money, which is our only advantage right now. And I do wonder, 
I can build more infantry. Let's do that. Actually, let's build another cavalry. They're not super useful, but we have the money. So might as well go for it. And then I can also build... Oh my god, I'm so scared. Every pop-up, I'm scared. But that was actually just Austria being re-elected. It's all good. It's all good. Forts are our strength. Fort defense or siege ability? <sighs> siege ability. Although we do have important fortresses in... You know, good terrain. Um, I think this is better. All right, so it's uh, it's an interesting situation. We have a huge coalition. I hope we can get hungry out of it, and that will take a lot of strength away from them. Then next, Bavaria will probably leave, and so it's going to be just Venice and Aragon, and that's they're not that they're, they're too afraid to attack us. I I assume. So, yeah, that was it for today. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Now, if you want to help return Constantinople to its rightful owners, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And you can even go a step further and join the newly formed Varangian Guard by becoming a supporter on Patreon.